Good afternoon, Bronx Arts Middle. It's Mission Naruski on Tuesday afternoon. We finished off our topic for Tuesday, all about Texas, their independence. Uh, you guys kind of looked at your own class notes, created some questions, and added a summary. This video today is going to help you with Wednesday's work, how the independence in Texas will actually lead to the next event, the Mexican-American War. If you notice, this timeline almost continues. It leaves off with Texas gaining their independence. Um, we see 1845, and then literally the next year, the United States is at war with Mexico. We're gonna see how that kind of unfolds. Um, we're gonna continue talking about key events. And the one thing our country does really, really well at times is fight wars. This war is all about adding land. Um, and let's see what our assignment is for Wednesday. If you look at Google Classroom, you're going to find Wednesday's work, April 29th. It is all about the Mexican-American War, and there are two tasks for you to complete. Uh, when you're done, please turn in your assignments on Google Classroom. Each of you has a copy of the Mexican-American War. Uh, if you could open it, you could add your own notes, you could add your own comments, you could add all your information right on that assignment, and I'm going to open up mine. <clears throat> Task number one, read and annotate your source below. This is something that we are routinely doing in social studies and we're doing a really, really strong job. I'd like you to make sure you're adding your own notes in the margins. You cannot get credit for reading by highlighting. You need to click and drag sentences. And as soon as you do that, a little plus sign pops up. That's for you to add a comment. You need five comments for task one. A lot of people are forgetting to do that. A lot of people are avoiding to do that and they're losing credit, um, and they're losing a lot of credit in those cases. When you're making your notes and comments, it could be based on any one of these thoughts, making connections, clarifying issues, uh, asking questions, summarizing, visualizing, responding to things. Make your annotation yours, right? Let the reading stick to you as you go. I'm gonna read the first paragraph to get us kicked off, and then I'm gonna actually add a comment in the margins. So here we go. After Texas won its independence from Mexico, the United States debated on adding the state. It became a major issue in the presidential election of 1844. James Polk called for the annexation adding of both Texas and Oregon to the United States. In keeping his promise, President Polk negotiated a treaty with Britain to divide Oregon, but the issue over Texas only increased tension with Mexico. So first thing I'm thinking about, if I'm annotating, I'm thinking right off the bat a question. President Polk negotiated a treaty with one country, but then added tension to the other country. So I clicked and dragged that sentence, and I could write something like this. I wonder why Polk, President Polk, was able to work out a deal with Britain, but not Mexico. And when I'm done to post that comment, I hit that blue button. Only I see your comments. Um, so don't think that this is being posted to everybody. It is between you and I. And then I could actually read this. I could actually respond to this. I could actually give you feedback off of your comments. Uh, remember, you need five of those based on your reading. You could do more than that. A lot of people get uh started with this and then like they have their fifth comment here and there's still some more paragraphs to read if you want your grade to increase continue to annotate some people are doing some really strong annotations remember you need five annotations five notes in the margins uh, to get full credit for task one then there's task two complete the table below with four events from the mexican american war think about the events like a timeline going in order you may want to think about causes and effects. How did the war begin? What were some reasons for fighting? What happened during the war? How did the war end? Who won and what changed? It's a lot of questions, there's a lot of prompts. Your goal is to explain the Mexican-American War using four events. You're creating your own timeline. Um, things that stood out to you, things that started the war, things that 
happened during the war, things that happened as a result of the war, you get to write your own responses. Uh, and this is where your table is. It is a table or a chart and it goes in timeline order. Event number one should be somewhere early in the issue uh, and then event two and event three and event four. They should be in chronological order. They should be in correct order. So if I read that first paragraph a little bit about President Polk, I could use that as my first event. Um, and I'm going to model you one example. You could start out with adding the topic or the date. So the topic for my first event might be President Polk is elected in 1844. That's my topic. Uh, and then I even used a date. Sometimes you might see the dates uh, associated with what you want to stand out. Other times you might just want to summarize your topic. And I'm going to just add a different color in there so you know what my words are as a teacher and what your words are as a student when you're responding. The second prompt is key information. What happened because of this event? Like what were some things that stood out? Um, and I might add something like, um, President Polk uh, believed in westward expansion and manifest destiny. This helped him win support to become president. <clears throat> and again, if I want to click and highlight just so I have my font come, you know, stick out a little bit, I could change the color a little bit about my answers and responses. But you want some key information to give to the person based on the event. And then the most important is the last one. Why significant? Why is this an important topic when it comes to the Mexican-American War? How is this connected? Why is it significant? Um, so I might say something like, President Polk looked to add more land for America at any cost. At times, he will work out treaties. Other times, he will wage war. And there's my first event. For each of the events, you need to come up with your topic or your date. You need to come up with key information. Notice I have a full sentence. I have two sentences, but this should be a full sentence or statement. Uh, and then why significant? What's the importance to it? And how does it connect the Mexican-American War? There are four events for you to pick. You can pick any events you think that are important. Use some of these questions to help you. Um, causes, effects. How does the war, what happens during the war? How does it end? What changes because of the war? You could have this and make it original and make it yours. If you want to get started on your assignment for tomorrow, you can. It is due by 4 o'clock on Wednesday, April 28th. If you are struggling with anything or you'd like to join us for a Google Meet tomorrow, it is 9.30 in the morning. We talk about the Mexican-American War. Other than that, guys, have a great afternoon, and I will see you guys tomorrow.